Right, so we created a starter app now, we have it running. If you want to see it again and you shut down your server, you can always shut down your browser. You can always go in and open a browser and go to localhost 8100. You can also do that in another browser like Edge or Firefox or uh, Safari or whatever you're using. You can actually see your solution in there as well. So let's try and figure out what's actually code behind all of this. What code did it build for us? Now I'm inside WebStorm and I go to the top here and I say file right here and I say open. Now this is the same for the Mac and the Windows. So I'll just do it for the Windows right now. In here, I'll go, I'm under my work folder, right? I created the Yonic folder in there, and there I have my new My App right here. I'll say OK, and I'll say in this window, you can pick to either create a new window though, and just keep it in this one. I'll just keep it in this one because I don't need another project I've been running right now. And there we go. Now we have the My Apps available right here, our first solution, and there's a lot of files in there that we just got out of the box. Let's just start from the top. Now, each area, they actually try to explain what um, what the folders are with the small readme file. But this one, there's nothing in there. It just, this is kind of a mapping area. You can go and map all the different sources. We don't need to go into this, but everything we have is inside node modules right now. So this is just a place where it tries to figure out where are you hiding all the different sources that I need to create this beautiful app. So that's what the source map is all about. We have hooks. That's actually, there's a readme file there. That's actually for the Cordova if you want to set up some specific lifecycle hooks. We don't want to do that either, so let's just skip that as well. The node modules, that's all the third-party libraries. That's all libraries you need to build this beautiful, beautiful app we have available right here. Let's not dive more into that for now either. The resources, that's actually all the things that, like images, all the stuff that um, you have Android specific images, you have iOS specific images, you have some a splash screen here for instance, etc. Et so these are all the, the resources that we need to build our application. So when we need new images, we want to hard code an image into our application, we need to put it in here. What else do we have? We have the source folder. This is where the app resides. This is where we'll do 90%, 95% of our work. I would even say 99% of our work. That's this folder right here. And that's the folder we're going to focus on soon. The www, that's kind of a, a web folder. That's a folder where the index file, for instance, is the index.html file. So if you have some specific things that we need to do um, on a higher level, we'll put it in, the, in this file right here. That's the starter file of some kind when you're working with an Angular application. But you're not going to work here that much. Most of it is actually stuff that will be built automatically for you, but it's in here. This will be our workplace again, the source folder, but you need to know that this is where you have the index file because we might need that later on. Then we have a lot of configuration files down here. You have the git ignore file. That's pretty much just when you need to commit this to a GitHub repository. These are the things that will be um, uh, ignored. We won't put those up like the node modules. You don't want to share that on a GitHub repository. You want people to download those when they're using your project. So that's the git ignore. Editor config, that's actually specifically for WebStorm. Config XML, let's just skip that for now, but this is about how we set up our, our application, like we can call another name, we can, a lot of this has been configured when we made the start application in the beginning. The config file, that's Yonic specific information, we don't need that now as well, but let's just, it's there if we want to configure something Yonic specific. We have uh, the package station, that's actually a place where we can start setting up, for instance, dependencies here are all the starter scripts that you guys already used. Like we had a clean, we had a serve. That was the one we used earlier, right? It's right here. When you do a Yannick serve, it actually runs a specific script. We can set up dependencies that we need. That's all the third-party dependencies that we require to build this. We also have dev dependencies that are only required for working in development mode. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, readme file that you can kind of get an overview of how to use this. TS, that's, this, all of this is because we're using TypeScript, right? So we have some TS specific information. Lint is a way for us to kind of help us write the code. And the config is if you want to do some specific stuff like how, what do you want to compile this into? Right now we're compiling everything into ECMAScript 5 from TypeScript. Um, there's another story there. If you want to dive into that, we'll figure it out later. Um, let's just end it for now because there was a lot of information about the file structure. My the main point you should grab right here is for now, we'll just focus on the source right here. All the other ones will be kind of built for us, at least for a basic project like we're using right here. But now you've opened your project and you know that we are going to work inside the source folder. That's a good start. See you in the next lesson.